Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Guys, today we're back in Elite Odyssey Alpha Phase 1. Guys, if you go into the training section and go into Challenge Scenarios and then go to SRV Practice, there is a way that you can grab yourself a anaconda and go exploring a little bit. Because right now in Phase 1, uh, we don't get a ship, we only get a taxi. So uh, find a clear area in your SRV and summon your ship, which happens to be an anaconda. And um, guys, I'm going to tell you, I love shooting the ship and just, I mean, as if it would do anything and just, and just watching the shield effects. Guys, the damage weapons and uh, just general effects in Elite Dangerous is, is really impressive. I, I really like them a lot. Um, so guys, uh, I had a ton of fun exploring in this session right here. Um, I didn't expect to. I actually, um, first of all, when you explore this way, there's no targeting planets or anything. None of the planets show up uh, in your uh, systems map or anything like that. So you're completely blind if you want to do this. Um, and I have been exploring the heck out of this system. Um, also, the rock that you start off on is really interesting. It's kind of dilapidated. It's uh, kind of cool looking. Really, 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 really just enjoying Odyssey. And there's so much potential to this. And, um, you know, I, of course, there, I, I see quite a few flaws and, you know, stuff like that. But just overall, the potential in Odyssey is tremendous. Uh, a lot of the planets that I visited uh, saw, like this one or this one, uh, of course, you can't visit. Um, uh, I think. I think um, when you can visit a world, there's a there's a blue kind of circle that kind of uh, gets highlighted around it. Um, I think yellow or orange means you cannot. I think it's yellow, uh, but of course that's not showing up here. I don't know why. And um, well, maybe it's the camera view, but actually no, it's not showing up at all. But um, doesn't matter. Still really cool. Just want to show you my little my little trip toward this world that I found because the world that I found was one of the, actually it's the only one that I found in exploring uh, this way, uh, that was disembarkable. I can leave my ship and go uh, traverse the world. And it was this one, Behold. And it actually looks pretty cool too, doesn't it? Kind of purple and very, very, very uh, terrainy. Very terrainy, it's not even a word. <laughs> um, very, um, a lot of textures. Now I did notice, I mean this is, one of the biggest sort of uh, things they need to improve, in my opinion, the planet tech is amazing, but textures look terrible when you approach. Uh, you can see a lot of crazy seams. It almost looks like literal seam, like like stitch work. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video or not, but it was it was pretty horrendous. I know that this is alpha, so um, uh, there you can see some uh, bottom left corner. I mean, it literally looks like sutures or stitch work. Um, Anyways, I know it's Alpha, and I know that they Frontier did specifically say that they're going to be uh, implementing uh, new uh, uh, updates for the planetary tech in, in Alpha going forward. So, um, But just look at this world, guys. So neat, so amazing. Um, and there's the sutures everywhere. But, um, but still, um, amazing, amazing world. And I saw this mountain, so I was like, okay, I'm going to it. It's Mount St., you know. I don't know what to call it. Mount Saints. Uh, who cares? But it's a big mountain. So, um, Olympus Mons of who the heck knows what planet name this is. Uh, you can't see any planet names when you're when you're exploring. So, um, but really, really amazing visuals. And especially, I could never afford an anaconda whenever I was playing Elite Dangerous. So it was kind of cool to grab grab this one and go exploring. So, I couldn't find a parking place back there. Well, actually, I could find a parking place, but it was just too far away from uh, from my Mount, Mount uh, my Olympus Mons Elite Odyssey. So, um, <laughs> I can't make up a name. I can't even think of a made-up name right now. So, um, so we, I started approaching this mountain, and then I thought, I know that I cannot land on the mountain, but I must try. So, as you'll see here, well, after I try to park again. Why was I trying to park again here? I don't really know. And guys, this was a lot of work to make this video. I know when you watch like a, what, a 10 minute video or something like that, it, it doesn't look like a lot of work. And, and I've been a content creator now for, I don't know, maybe a year or so. Um, this particular video, man, oh man, it was a lot of work. Um, 
This is just so pretty. And I was so happy when I could tell that that um I could disembark. This this is literally, guys, out of out of probably a dozen worlds that I visited. Some you couldn't um you know you couldn't even land on, um, and then others you could none of them you could you could only disembark on the one that you the starter world. Um, and so I was real happy to find this, guys. Look, for, I mean, for me personally to finally see the scale in relation to us as a human being to see the scale of something like this anaconda oh my gosh just look at this oh my gosh this is worth it this is this is this is worth getting the odyssey update just just for you know the the uh, the, the space legs and to and to go into third person or, or to external camera mode and to see this scale and run around on these worlds oh my goodness it's just so magical so wonderful huge ship so I took off here and I was also delighted to see that it is a low gravity planet. Look at that. Yay, low gravity. It was just a lot of fun. I was jumping on these hill, uh, jumping on these boulders. I could, you can get up high too. That's probably, what is that? 10 feet, 15 feet in the air? It was a lot of fun. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's also, you know, like dust kicks up whenever you run. And I think footprints too, uh, really cool. I just sort of trekked around and had a look at this world next to my big mountain that I was so proud of finding. And uh, just the scale of this, guys. Look at this. <laughs> I just love it. I don't know where the heck I got this leather jacket. You know? Like, don't you start off with, like, a that black suit? And all of a sudden, I was in some leather jacket. Hey, I'm not complaining. That was pretty cool. Um, So, I decided, heck with it. I'll just fly toward my mountain. Remember I said that I... uh. I decided to try to land on the mountain. Well, this was really fun. Just approaching this was really fun. I'm horrible at landing. Horrible. Especially this. I mean, until I until I made this video, I had never tried to land a anaconda anywhere. Well, first of all, I've never even really... I think I played with an anaconda and some betas or alphas but i've been an alpha backer of uh, elite dangerous since 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 it, alpha was available but uh i only flew an anaconda a couple of times so i i'm terrible at landing but you might be kind of impressed at what i did here this was uh <laughs> this is a lot of fun i'm like i'm so terrified that i'm going to explode against the mountain because you have no idea how many hours hours and hours it took it probably took four or five hours to find, I mean, in two different days on two, um, three or four different playthroughs, to find a world that I could disembark in in this training scenario. So I was so happy, and I didn't want to explode because I, I definitely exploded when I tried to land a couple of times <laughs> in the uh, in the uh, past couple of days. So, uh, anyways, so check me out. Yep, look at that. Look at that. Yep, it's not a true landing though, guys. Uh, I almost blew up my ship right there, but um. It was a lot of fun, and this got me a couple of uh, screenshots that it was worth it just for that. I mean, I mean, look at this. How often do you see this <laughs> in Elite Dangerous? I mean, it's just, uh, it's so wonderful. I have so much potential in Odyssey. I can't wait. I cannot wait until full release. Look at that. A beautiful white, white um, gas giant. So cool. So then I thought, well, let's just see on the other side of the mountain. We'll try to park disembark and have a look at the mountain from the from the lit side of it um and uh, there's some sutures i just I, i'm sure they're gonna get these fixed but um the way i edited the video you didn't see too many of them but man there was a lot there was a lot and the the resolution of the world on approach um was horrendous it was, it was really bad. so um once again I, I understand it's alpha and they did specifically say they're going to improve the the planet tech uh in iterations during the alpha so uh, but still, it makes you kind of worry when you see it. You're like, oh no, what if it what if it stays like that? But I'm sure it won't. So there's one of my wonderful landings again. And just look at this, guys. <sighs> I'm not a fan of purple. But who cares? Look at this. It's just so beautiful. I was so happy. So uh, look at this. Disembark. Man, to see that illuminated, disembark. Because you, I mean, dozens of worlds. And you just can't land on any of them uh in that training scenario and then to find this one 
like I say, so excited. I'll probably repeat it a couple more times. I was so excited. But uh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, so beautiful. The scale and seeing, being able to see your ship. Look. Oh. I mean, I just, I just sat here and stared at this. We've never seen this before, you know, in, in Elite Dangerous. Being able to see ourselves contrasted against the immense size of our ships. The scale is just so wonderful. <laughs> Here I am with my leather jacket jumping around. I really want to know where the heck I got that leather jacket. Just amazing. This planet, I, I had so much fun. If we can ever build... Like just set up a little settlement, just anything, even a little, uh, you know, futuristic tent, you know, some kind of little, I don't know what you would even call it. I would, oh my gosh, I would just lose it. To be able to just call the world your own and stay there and, and build a little bit. I don't, you know, you don't want to go too crazy, you know, uh, but uh, that would just be tremendous to be able to stay and save, save uh, your location on the world. I'm an explorer. That's all I love to do, guys. Is explore. I don't. I don't. I mean, dogfighting is amazing and elite dangerous. But I, I'm. I'm not a multiplayer dude, and you know, it's fine. But I just. I, I'm an explorer. That's all I want to do. I just want to explore. So any, any mechanics, any content that 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 uh, enhances exploration just gets me so excited. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this had this was a lot of work, but it was so worth it, and it was just so much fun. Look at this mountain at the end here, but um, uh, the scale and everything is just so incredible. Uh, I, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a fantastic day, and we will see you guys next time.